guys, I'm Evan Espet, a streamer of rugby player. You're watching Gareth Mason on Walking Tour with G-Man. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about the current World Rugby Champions and that is the mighty All Blacks. The reason why I want to talk about the All Blacks in today's video is because Steve Hansen has recently had a press conference where he's been discussing the Rugby World Cup, the plans for what he wants to see come out from the All Blacks. Spoken a bit about refereeing, Super Rugby, all that jazz and I thought let's chat about the World Content or the, the World Champions are oh, they going to be contenders for the World Cup? You're damn right they're going to be because anyone who wants to write them off or say they won't be are pretty much don't know the sport that we love to watch because what they've achieved in the past 10, 12 years is truly amazing. Not only are they the opportunity of winning the hat-trick of World Cups, but they're going to stand a chance of winning four World Cup titles, which is truly remarkable. And do you think what they've achieved is amazing the the development firstly within new zealand rugby is truly outstanding and i've always admired this about new zealand and how they handle the sport is because bringing it up from the the school to club level to provincial to the all blacks and the ruling of it is if you want to play for your country you've got to stay in your country and not go overseas and i've always admired this rule and i, I strongly believe that's one of the reasons why this team is so dominant and so strong and and the depth within New Zealand rugby is absolutely insane because they get developed and it's not only the development but the culture the history within the I mean the All Blacks is truly amazing you look at schoolboy rugby you've always got a hacker going on you have the tradition you have that that intensity I mean whether you support them or whether you don't. If you're watching the Haka and you don't get goosebumps or a sense of excitement for the game or the build-up, watching your opponents or watching your fellow countrymen stand a lot, stand alongside each other, watching that, that, that Haka, for me it's truly amazing and it's goosebump material. I absolutely love watching it. And it all comes down to the tradition and culture of what New Zealand have really put the strength around. Um, in rugby within this amazing country and again that's why they're the best in the world at what they do is because of those very reasons um, the management staff is top class the provincial level is top class yes in this past super rugby we've seen a bit of weakness from the chiefs and the highlanders who maybe not been as strong as they've been in the past but if you look at the crusaders they still continue to be dominant Maybe a draw against the Stormers and the Sharks isn't that great for them. But still, competitive rugby, great quality, and they didn't lose it at the end. You look at the Hurricanes, the, the, the brilliance within that squad. You've got the Barrett brothers, who are just pure class. You've got TJ Perinara. I mean, amazing quality within the squad. And I mean, then you go to the Highlanders, you've got Aaron Smith. I mean, New Zealand's best scrum off, according to a lot of people. It's brilliant what they can produce if we look at the Chiefs. Brody Retallick, Damian McKenzie. Yes, I know they're injured at the moment, but still. What we what you see within that squad is truly remarkable. And to, to watch them all gel together to be in one squad is amazing. I mean, where do you hear of, of, of countries where it's a battle between your scrum-offs? You've got TJ Perinari and you've got Aaron Smith. Two of the greatest. Who to pick? That's a headache. You got Bowden Barrett, Richie. I mean, that's a headache. Who are you gonna pick? And I did this in my comparison videos for Richie and Bowden as well as Aaron Smith and TJ. The comparisons within it is truly remarkable. You got Whitelock and you got Brody Retallick. Class. You got then Scott Barrett, who's coming up the ranks. You got Sam Kane, who's coming back from injury. The the, the amount of brilliance within the All Blacks. Artie Sevier. I mean, come on, it's just remarkable. And that's why I say you cannot write this team or country out of this World Cup. It might be a tough battle, it might be competitive, but I mean, for anyone to say the All Blacks are going to go out in group stage, clearly does another know the sport. If that happens, bigger shock in world rugby. But at this stage, I'm pretty confident that won't happen because you've got South Africa and then a few other countries. You. South Africa is their biggest battle. Um, that can go either way, obviously. 
but um, I think a lot of the bookies are going New Zealand to win that one, meet South Africa maybe in the, the final. What a dream final that will be. Definitely my dream final, that one. But again, you can't write these guys off. What we see on the field and off the field is clearly remarkable. I always say this. When you're playing the All Blacks, you might be dominant. You might be on a strong side of the game. But one thing's for sure. If you let it slip or give them a sense of victory, they're going to come back and absolutely wallop you. We've seen it how many times? When the clock strikes 70 or 65 minutes, the All Blacks put the gas uh, gas on and they go at it and they always come back nearly 90% of the time. And that is true class of what these guys can produce. They can start off and destroy or they can finish off and destroy. That is the beauty. It's like almost decide. Okay, this game, take it easy in the first half. Second half, let's destroy them. Ah, let's kill them in the first half and uh, take it easy in the second half. That's the way they can do. All they say, play 80 minutes, boom, done. Cheers. The key to winning the All Blacks is fitness. Fitness is the key because they just don't tire. And also the key is to having a bench that is suitable to take on a team like the All Blacks because, like I said, you've got the comparisons of fly-off versus fly-off, scrum-off versus scrum-off. I mean, come on, there's pure talent. So you've got one hand, you've got Aaron Smith and Bowden Barrett on the starting lineup with the other boy keys. And then you've got TJ Perinara and Richie coming off on the bench or it could be vice versa. Hello, that is pure class coming to replace the other pure class. Holy shit, it's terrifying of, of what, what they have to offer. So you've got to bring your A game if you're wanting any chance of winning or beating the All Blacks. It is going to be competitive. We saw the All Blacks lose to Ireland and South Africa last year. And that got a lot of people talking. They came close to a few other games against like England. Um, but due to those games, we can't quite write them off. Yes, it's going to be competitive. But myself included, we were all talking about Ireland, 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 Ireland beating the All Blacks. They did it last year. But where are Ireland now? I just did a video about talking about Irish rugby where I said, yes, they have the potential. And I don't think they're slipping yet. But they've definitely taken a dip to where they were the previous year. I mean, you've got pure brilliance of what you achieved last year and then this year you came third in the six nations your provincial team didn't win the champions cup like they did previous year what's going on are you sliding down whereas the all blacks have just kept consistent yes they lost last year but look at the crusaders dominating super rugby yet again and probably going to win it again as well can we write them off hell no, because they are consistent in every damn thing they do, which is another reason why I respect them. 10 or 12 years now, I think it's been that the All Blacks have been number one in the world. 10 or 12 years, guys. That is truly remarkable to have achieved that. And think of the exodus that they have been through as well, which I've spoken about too. You've got Richie McCaw who left. You've got Dan Carter who left. Such class within this All Black squad in 2015-2011 that had, had disappeared to go play overseas or who had retired and then you have to rebuild the squad. They've done it before, they've done it right now, they're probably going to do it again in a few years time and that just shows the depth, the consistency, the talent, the growth, the, 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 the commitment within these rugby players and the coaching staff into developing true athletes and true stars and once again why they are contenders for this world cup you cannot write uh, the all blacks off it's going to be an epic world cup and i'm hoping as a south african that i'll see the all blacks versus south african south africa beating the all blacks dream but um, it's not going to be easy but it can happen but it's not going to be easy the all blacks are going to be hard to beat they're going to know People have got targets on their back or put a target on their back. They're going to know that. They thrive off pressure. They've been under pressure before and they've come back so many times afterwards. It's like when 
they lost in America to Ireland. The next week they bluxed Ireland in Dublin. We've seen it before when South Africa have won. We got destroyed the next time as well. These things happen. Same goes for Australia. Same goes for other countries. You can't count them off because their comeback is sometimes even worse than what they started with. So never count the All Blacks out. Just my thoughts on that. And I thought I'd give it a chat about about it. I think Steve um, Hansen said he's going to focus on the attacking side of All Black Rugby. I mean, that's terrifying enough as it is. So if he's going to focus more, God help the teams playing against them because it's going to be tough. Let me know your thoughts and, and, and suggestions in the comment section down below about where you see the All Blacks. Or are you one of those who maybe see the All Blacks slipping up this year and losing out in the World Cup to another team like Wales, Ireland, Scotland? No, maybe not Scotland. I, I, it would be great for them and I wish it on them. Um, or South Africa, England. Who could it be? Maybe even France. Anyone could do it. But don't count out the All Blacks. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and make sure you turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out on another video. And as Evan's going to say, just after this clip, stay safe and never give up. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to his channel for all rapid content. Stay safe and never give up.